Hi everyone, I'm here with a video today on some of my like must-have spring makeup products. And I'm doing this video with my really good friend here on YouTube, Sam or Sam Sherman. Don't forget to check her video out after you watch this. I will link her channel down below. And we're just going to talk about some of our favorite products that we like to use in the springtime. So I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of everything. So I have some like foundation face products, I have some blushes, I have some lip products, and I have some eye products. So let's start with the face stuff. So usually in the spring, I start to go a little bit lighter on my makeup as far as like the foundation goes. Now on filming days, I'm most likely wearing a full coverage, but kind of on a day-to-day, -day, if I'm going and running errands or not filming or not doing anything special, I like something a little bit lighter on the skin. And springtime here in Northern California can either be really rainy and dreary like it is today, or it could be in the 80s, 90s, it's just kind of all over the place. So I kind of like to use a little bit more of like the BB cream, CC cream type products. Um, the It Cosmetics CC cream, I love. I have this, this is in the shade light, it's like their extra large one. Um, I also have medium and I love this. I have a whole video on it. It has amazing coverage, feels light on the skin. It lasts all day, it has SPF 50 in it, so if you're gonna be out in the sun, it's great to help protect your face. I love this for spring and summertime, but I definitely start to pull it out a little bit more in the spring and then use it on through the summer. And then I also love the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. Now in the, the summertime, I will use just the Matte Moisture Tint and that works perfectly. It has great coverage, keeps me matte all day, but in the springtime, my skin is still a little bit dry from the wintertime. So I like to mix it with a primer. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. And I like mixing these two because it gives just a little bit of luminosity from the primer, but still keeps me nice and matte without making me look dry. So if you have a chance to pick up the Jouer Tinted Moisturizer, the matte one is amazing. They have a luminizing one as well, but the matte one has great, great coverage. It keeps you matte, doesn't feel heavy on the skin, uh, and if you have a little bit of drier skin, but you still want that matte finish, try mixing in like a little bit of a luminizing primer or like a MAC strobe lotion that works well too. So I know I'm gonna be pulling this out a lot this spring. Now a foundation that I use pretty much year round, but spring, summertime is probably the time I use it the most is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is one of my holy grail foundations. It never fails me, it always looks amazing. It has kind of medium coverage. If you top it with a little bit of a more fuller coverage powder, I like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This one is in the shade Medium. I love pairing these two together because it just gives it just that perfect coverage. It doesn't look cakey. It looks very natural on the skin. Um, it's not too matte, it's not too luminizing. It's a really, really nice combination. So the Urban K Naked Skin Foundation is my favorite. This one is in the shade three, which is like my shade when I'm paler. And then I have shade four for kind of like when I'm semi self tan and then shade five for when I have like a fresh self tan on. So I have bought this many times. I've gone through two or three of these already. It's the first foundation I've ever used that I've gone through so many um, containers of it. So I really love it, but spring summertime is the best time for me to use this. Another thing that I like to do in the springtime is kind of pull out some of my cream blushes. Now I know most of you probably think you'd use them in the wintertime because they're a little bit more hydrating to the skin, but for me, I just like them in the spring. There's something about kind of the dewiness that they give to your cheeks that I really love. The Illamasqua cream blushes are probably my all-time favorite as far as giving that really pretty dewy look to the skin. This one is in the color Laid, which is a little bit of a brighter, pink, which I love. It just has a little bit of that glowy dewiness to it that looks so youthful on the cheeks. And then if you apply it with a beauty blender, it just kind of adds just that much more to it. I love it. You don't need to top it off. I find it lasts all day if you just wear it on its own. But of course, if you want to top it with a powder blush to just kind of make it last a little longer, you can do that. But I love these. I also have one in the shade Promise, I think is the other one and it's a little bit more of a mid-tone, lighter bubblegum pink. They also have the cream highlighters that are amazing too. They just give that beautiful, fresh face, dewy look that I love for the springtime. Another one is the NARS Cream Blush in Cactus Flower. Now this is a really bright, kind of corally red color. Super blendable, really, really beautiful on the cheeks. This one is a little bit more of like a cream to powder, so it's not quite as dewy looking as Illamasco or even the NYX cream blushes, but it blends beautifully in the skin. It gives a really nice kind of pop to your cheeks. I think these kind of blushes are really pretty if you do a little bit more of a simple basic eye and have just this nice flush to your cheeks is really pretty. 
Um, so I love these two and we'll be pulling these out a lot in the springtime. Some lip products that I love. One is a combination I'm wearing today, which are these two MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. I do have a tutorial that's going to be going up for this look too if you are interested. This is MAC's Lady at Play. It's a little bit of a brighter, kind of neon, corally orange color. Uh, I don't really like it so much on me by itself, but if I kind of pair it with this one, which is Style Surge, also mineralized lipstick, it works really well. This one's a little bit of a lighter coral, and this is a little bit more of a brighter, bolder coral. So I like these mixed together on their own. I don't particularly like them on me. I can always top it off with a little bit of a coral gloss or a orangey kind of lip liner. I'm trying to get into the orange coral trend. So these two are like my favorite combination if I want to do a coral lip, which I think is great for the spring. And then if I want to do like a pink lip, this is my go-to combination every single spring. I think for the last two years, this has been my combination and it's the Revlon Kissable Balm Stains in Cherish and Darling. Darling is a lavender shade and then Cherish is a pink, like a light pink. So Darling and Cherish, but I like mixing them together and I think it gives the perfect color. I just love, that's them mixed together. I just love that color so much and I find that in the springtime, these are what is in my car and my purse all spring and it's just the perfect kind of bright lavender lip. I think it's so, so pretty. So if you haven't tried that combination, try it out because it's hands down like my favorite spring lip. So these NYX lip butters are pretty fun. This one is in the color Razzle Fiesta. I just picked one out. I have a whole video of me swatching these on my lips. If you want to see that, I will link it down below. It's just a little bit of a brighter fuchsia color. I really love bold, bright lips in the springtime. I think they're super fun. So if you can get your hands on some of these NYX butter lipsticks, I really like them. They have a ton of colors. Like I said, I have a whole video swatching them all on my lips. I will link that down below if you're undecided of what color to get. They're really nice. They're creamy. A lot of them apply very smooth and there's a color for everybody. So I really like these. I think they'll be a great hit for the spring. Some of the lighter colors are a little bit easier, like kind of don't need a mirror, slap them on and you're ready to go. Some of these brighter, bolder colors, you definitely need to um, make sure you have a mirror. Some of them you might want lip liners, just depending if lipstick tends to bleed on you a lot. Um, then for some eye products, I have quite a few. I'm loving the Makeup Geek pigments. I'm very into pigments lately. I don't know why. They're, I used to think they were a pain, but now I love them. So this first one is Afterglow, and it's a really beautiful kind of champagne color. It has a beautiful iridescence to it. I think this would make a really pretty highlight as well on your cheekbones. But if you can see there, it just has a really pretty kind of golden reflex to it. So that one is Afterglow. It's so pretty. Definitely a must-have. Another one is Sweet Dreams. And this one is... A little bit more of a matte finish but I wear this all the time with kind of the same color crease that I have now and I put that on this one is sweet dream so it's a little bit less sparkly than afterglow a little bit more champagne less golden and if you check the makeup geek website you can see better swatches and then New Year's Eve is beautiful it's a very very sparkly I'm not gonna swatch this one because it doesn't swatch very well, but it looks beautiful as like a topper on your eyes. Kind of sparkly champagne color. It has some like yellow multicolored glitters in there, golden. Oh, it's so pretty. And it looks beautiful. You just kind of top tap it right on the center of your lid. It's really, really pretty. And then, of course, the infallible eyeshadows from L'Oreal. This one is in the color with a twist. I don't know if this was limited edition. It's kind of that beautiful radiant orchid color that is the Pantone color right now. I just think these really pretty purples are going to be so fun for the spring just to kind of put that all over your lid. That one is with a twist. And then the last Makeup Geek eyeshadow is this color Bewitched which is a really pretty kind of muted purple. And I just love purples for the springtime. I just think they're really pretty. Purples, mints, um, corals, pinks, those are all super fun for the springtime. And then the last of my eyeshadows are my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I find for some reason that I really pull these out a lot in the spring. I have almost all of them except for some of the blue and green colors, but definitely peach smoothie, creme brulee, purely naked, any of those colors in that kind of warm brown I think are super pretty and then 
I am loving this color from Inglot. It's in number 49. And it's this color right here, and that's what's all over my lid. It's a really pretty kind of chartreuse green color. So I think that's really fun too, like kind of a nice like yellowy green eye I think is perfect for the spring. Anything coral or pink or like that limey green color is super fun. So those are some of my favorites that I know I'm going to be pulling out a lot this spring. You'll probably see a lot of them in tutorials or in videos. And I want to know what some of your favorite spring products are. What are some of your favorite colors? or just specific makeup items that you find you pull out a lot in the spring. Don't forget to head over to Sam's channel. I will link that down below and tell her I sent you. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.